Welcome back to Out of War. Today, uh, we're going to be messing around with a couple of things. The best part about being on the dev branch is you never know what's going to happen. So, I went into the dev branch, it, uh, it updated again, and all of a sudden, back on here, or has changed its value again. Oh yes, lots and lots of money per lithium, which basically means he's balancing out this game. Best part about this, we can now earn more money per scoop, or per bucket, or per loader, or per rock truck. And that's the best part, it basically means things are changing in this game. Now to get on the dev branch actually isn't that difficult, I'll explain it in just a minute, I just, it, I just want to go through a couple of things first. Number one, being on the dev branch sucks a little bit, because every time that a change is made, you have to redo your controls, you have to mess around with everything. It, it generally becomes a little bit of a headache, but if you are interested in becoming part of the dev branch, you can go onto the Steam page now and you can click on this part and you can look for all the stuff and he gives you the code to join it as well and it's all good. The, bl the plus side of being on it is just in case something sneaky comes out and you're like, oh, new features, it's all good. One of the best things about this is you get all the new stuff and it just means you're ahead of the curve. I do prefer using the mouse wheel to be able to zoom in and out, but apparently you can't do that at the moment. No, I know not everybody's going to play the game the, way, the same way I do, but you know it's just the way that my controls work for me. You can do it yourself, it's not going to bother me any, it's just how you're going to play it. Right, so let me just um, level out the ground again, because this does cause problems for the wheels and me. Like, loading straight doesn't, you know, it does help. Right, let's get bugging out down to, uh, down to the bottom of the hill. So this isn't too far away from the workshop, which is quite nice. Gonna be honest, it's all good. I do want to build a conveyor belt though. I'm, 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 I'm probably looking at about two mil. I'm not gonna do it again and try and overwrite my save. So I'm just gonna try and save up around two mil. Now, how I know that things got a bit more expensive, or well, better for us, worse for the like eco economy, was when I last when when I chucked a whole load into the uh, load last time. It does get a little bit laggy right here. So I'll put my brake on, push it up a little bit. Because I'm carrying so much, I do it a little bit at a time because I did have it overflowing and actually went through the window. Now I am using the most expensive rope truck you can get. So it might be the reason why I can hold a bit more. I don't know, but there we go. So now $144,000 for 60 tons worth of ore. As said, money went up a little bit nicer now, so it's all good. So that's what I've been doing. Uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to go and empty out the rest of that node now. I'll get back to you in just a bit, and then we're going to move on to the big one at the top of the hill. Now, what I'm hoping for is when we get to that top one, I might have enough money to build a conveyor belt system. And if I can get a conveyor belt to run all the way to here from the top of that hill, and I have like a central loading point, then I'm, I'm well away up there because apparently that mine is quite big going by someone who wrote on my comments so to that person i can't remember your name i'm very sorry if it is you let me know in the comment section of this video and um consider that a shout out because you're the guy who said that that mine at the top is big i want to go big up there so it's going to be all right okie dokie so there we go i've basically finished off down here there's still an uh, in fairness i know i'm not very good at this just yet right i'm still learning and unfortunately when it comes to like deep well mining i knew this was going to be a big vein i didn't realize how far down it was going to go in order to get to the bottom of this i would literally have to open this up like twice the size just to get to the bottom and I'm going to be honest, I'm sort of like, you know what, I've got enough, I've got enough money and I want to sort of like move. Now doing these massive excavations is all good, but in order to do this properly, I need like much bigger ground. Now what I'm about to do is open up a mega mine. Hopefully when I can get past my own bloody rock truck. Let me just move. Yeah, there, right, right, right. And there we go. Okay, no. This thing is so unresponsive. Right, so we need to go up this way. And then we need to curve it around. Now, this is where I might need a bit of a road. Now, the reason why is because now we're getting to the top of this hill where you've got this massive opening. Now, what I need to do up here is I need to take the first layer off. So I just need to start up the top and I need to skim down. As you can see, it gets a bit bumpy up here. Now all of this should be lithium, all of it. 
And what I want to do is I want to take it off layer by layer by layer by layer. The downside is that is if, if this goes down quite far, I'm going to need a big open space. So basically what I want to do is I want to sort of work out a little path. Now what I'll probably end up doing is just dragging the blade up backwards like I did with this hole. And yeah, I'm a little bit annoyed at myself of like going down that far but not being able to get like anything out. This is the problem with like digging is that I get sort of carried away. I'm like, yeah, I want to get down to the bottom, and it's like, why do I get down to the bottom? Because I want to get to the good stuff, and then I miss like some of the other, some of the rest of the veins. So, if this was like twice as wide, and so was this ramp, I'd I'd get down there happily. So you can sort of see that I want to follow a certain line, because that certain line is pretty much a nice direct route up. And it's all good. I can actually get a better view of it when I look up that hill. You can see what I mean when I when I when I'll turn this around and we'll get all this done now. Another 82 grand. Not too shabby. I'm actually I'm liking the fact I can now make quite a bit of cash off of just a normal regular like dump, which is nice. It's nice to get paid to dump. Who were misses? Yep. Okay, so as we're gonna walk over here, I'll show you as you can see, because the best part about ruining the land is you can start to see where I'm sort of going. So follow that straight up and you sort of get a gist of where I'm heading. With $739,000, I'm not sure what I can actually afford, like bulldozer wise. Now most people will probably be sitting again, well you don't need a bulldozer. Well, I'd, you know what, no I probably don't need one, but it'd just be nice just to have one, wouldn't it? Right, there we go, bulldozers. Bulldozer, bulldozer. So 591,000 or 495,000 or a million and a half. We haven't got a million and a half. But we do have enough for the 599,500 watt, uh, the 500W. Which, like, someone told me that the W just means it's got a wider track. So I'm after a wider track bulldozer. That's pretty nice. So the reason why I'm after this is I want to put in a, f I want to put in a sort of path. Now, having a wide boy which is basically what this is at this point. And look at the size of the wide of the tracks. We're all good with it. And the problem with this is that now I have to go through the controls of my dozer. As you can see, I have to do the wobble with the actual left as well. So that is something I change. So when it comes to my dozer, um, the tilt, I'm going to come off with this. I'm going to go keyboard and I'm just going to have this as left and right. So that's fine by me. And I'm going to have that on there as well. So we're going to save those controls. That's fine. Dozer blade tilt left. So that's tilt in and out. That's tilt left and right. Right. So lift is up. So if I save this now. So the only control I should have is lift up. So that's just hold, that's just pushing left and right. Uh, left. All right. Let's go controls. And then dozer again. So this is the tilt. So there we go. We've got our up and down. And if I put it into carry mode. I can put it into cut mode, bring it down. Next, dozer, hit this button here because it's now in control of the whole arm. Now done, saved, brilliant. Now we go back just to check it. Excellent. So the camera controls, the reason why they're locked in that mode is because I haven't got them linked into the body. So when it comes to general vehicles, you have to mess this around just to have all this set up. So if you want this set up when it comes to your cameras. So if you want these to change around, if you click these buttons as well, which goes from the arm, which is your tool, to the main body, and you save, then instead of being in this mode, where I've got free roam of the camera, I can be in this mode and be in control of the body. So I just prefer to have that free roam of like my actual camera. Right, let me just flog me dozer. So that's half a million I'll get back. That's all good. Right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my loader to the top of this hill. And then I can start digging again. Because that's what I've got to do. I've just got to start digging. And now obviously this road isn't going to be perfect just yet. Right? You know, it's going to be bouncy. It's going to be bobbly. But it gives me a good idea of where I'm going. You know, I'm going to walk up and down this a couple of times, smooth it out as much as I can right now. And then, when I, because at the moment it's just bouncy, but it means I've got a guide. It means I can just drive to the top and be happy. And then, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to obviously start digging up here. This is where I wanted to be to start with after I did those two, made some money, it's all good. 
but I need to level all this out. This is going to be a big mine. It's going to it's going to be a lot of time, and um, it's going to take me. In fairness, it's going to take me a long time to get all this out. So this is where we're going to be for a little while, and I'm thinking if I can earn. I think it's going to be around sort of like 2 million. It might be a little bit more. I might try and set up a conveyor belt system so I can actually just load straight onto that and then just send it off to the plant and be happy because I don't want to keep going up and down the hill. I'd rather just sort of make money, not have to worry about it, you know. So that is the plan. I've got to basically dig the top of this hill off and earn a shed ton of cash. And if you guys want to carry on watching this little journey of mine, if you have got any suggestions and you want to see some certain footage, this, that, and the other, let me know in the comment section below because I'm going to be honest, at the end of the day, I'm doing this series, I'm enjoying it, I want you guys to enjoy this as well. So, if you have suggestions, comments, bits and pieces down in the comment section, I will reply to you as much as I can, as quickly as I can. I want to say thank you very much for all the support for this because at the end of the day, I didn't expect this game to take off as well as it did. I follow these games and I de genuinely didn't see a crowd watching but you guys have made this actually flipping fantastic i'm just going to keep going and until i find something else to do as well at the end of the day there's still going to be different games being played on this channel but if you are enjoying this series hit the like subscribe and notification button below for all other updates and i'll be back here with a brand new video live stream or whatever else i do on this channel until then thank you very much for kicking by i'll see you all later on say peace out have fun and enjoy everything you guys do i'm going to mine this now i'm going to go off and i'm going to go and dig a really really big hole next video might be a little bit longer to like record but we'll figure this out as we go bye bye for now